Hallo zusammen, I'm Rudolf Lockdave and today I want to try something new. I've talked about many German songs before, mostly by Rammstein and other German artists, German bands that are well known. And today I want to do something similar, something regarding a German song, which isn't just a German song, it's also an English song. And first and foremost, let's also talk about the similarities and differences in both versions of Major Tom by Peter Schilling. Many of you guys might not be aware about this actually being a German song in the first place, I don't know. Anyway, Peter Schilling, the composer, was born in Stuttgart in 1956 and this song is a prime example for many of his tunes which deal with outer space, astronauts and science fiction. Major Tom was first released in German in 1982 and it turned into a big, massive hit song nationally. It belongs to the so-called Neue Deutsche Welle genre, which categorizes German-speaking artists playing classic 80s synthpop or new wave tracks with catchy sing-along German lyrics. As I was filming with my YouTube buddy Adam Lusk from the FBE React channel the other day, we also talked about Major Tom and he confused it with Space Oddity by David Bowie which, funny enough, features the same protagonist. So both songs are pretty much related in a way, which I think is interesting. Major Tom is what we call in German der Astronaut, singular, die Astronauten plural, the astronaut, flying into space. Oh, what an oddity. Throughout the song, we as listeners learn that he is basically observing or watching the Earth below him from outer space, from a space shuttle, a space station, knowing that for whatever reason he cannot return. After a rather sloppy start in the German charts, it became increasingly successful in both Germany and other European countries throughout 1982, also in the wake of the increasingly popular Neue Deutsche Welle subgenre, Peter Schilling also recorded an English version, which then also became a hit internationally. Speaks for a good song, I think. Many younger people might remember this weird scene from Breaking Bad, where Hank plays a VHS tape showing Gail singing and dancing to the English version of this song. The full German title of this song is Major Tom, völlig losgelöst, by the way, which translates to Major Tom totally uncoupled or unbound. So let's start comparing the German and English versions side by side. On the left you can find the original German lyrics. In the middle, you can see my rather direct and more or less free translation of the German words. On the right, you can see the actual English lyrics version. Alright, alright, so let's start with the first verse. Gründlich durchgecheckt steht sie da und wartet auf den Start. Alles klar. Experten streiten sich um ein paar Daten. Die Crew hat da noch ein paar Fragen, doch der Countdown läuft. Even though the tone and basic idea of this first verse becomes clear in both versions, I think the German version rather puts emphasis on the human colleagues, while the English version rather highlights the technical and new modern aspects of this endeavor. This becomes most obvious in the fourth line. As you can see, we also use anglicisms in German. Die Crew, singular. Die Crews, plural. The German version also rather mentions the general scientific perspective, Experten, experts, while the English version rather addresses the main specific control or control panel. Another interesting difference is how the German version is a bit more subtle and doesn't really reveal what this song's setting is all about at first. Here it doesn't really mention the ship explicitly, meaning the spaceship, it just hints at it by using the feminine personal pronoun Z. Now, you might wonder, why feminine though? In German, objects can also be linguistically masculine or feminine, for instance, apart from being a neuter object in a way. In this case, it's die Rakete, singular, die Raketen, plural, the rocket. In this case, a space rocket, of course. In English, the countdown is either about to start or has just started, and in German, it's already running down. Now, all these aspects don't change fundamental things about the song itself, and both versions work perfectly fine, I think. 
I guess one of the big reasons for changing lyrics here and there is, well, something that you could call linguistic aesthetics or, for instance, language economic reasons, which means that a word in one language might be shorter and have less syllables than well, the exact equivalent in the other language. So if you've watched my previous videos in regards to Rammstein or other German bands and their German lyrics, what they mean and translate to in English, you might know that I'm really, I'm, I'm basically in love with music in a way. And that is also true for this song. I love it. I think it's a classy 80s German, well, Neue Deutsche Welle song, as I've mentioned before. And what I really like about this one, apart from the lyrics, which are really cool, and the vocal melody in itself, there are a few little details which make the song really stand out even more. And one of them, one of the uh, most obvious ones, I guess you could say, would be the little guitar lick in each second line, if that makes sense. Uh, at the end of it. Du -du 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 Du -du -du -du. That little accent in the guitar line and the guitar rhythm even, that really works perfectly and it also really flows well with the lyrics because after them the line continues for like a second or so. For instance, in the German version, in the original version of this song, it continues with Alles klar? And in English it's Are you sure? Effektivität bestimmt das Handeln. Man verlässt sich blind auf den anderen. Jeder weiß genau, was von ihm abhängt. Jeder ist im Stress, doch Major Tom macht einen Scherz. So it's really interesting to see how much the English verse diverges and differs from the German one here, while still encapsulating the same spirit and mood. The German lyrics rather appear typically German, almost cliché-ish. I mean, the first line could not be more German, right? The effectivität is what it's all about, the effectivity. The first line in the English version though is quite the opposite, since being in a trance means you don't act willingly or consciously anymore. In German the crew doesn't really seem to have found the right way or mood to really relax or even try, while in English the crew seems to be a lot more laid back and certain about what they are doing and how they do that. Interestingly enough, we actually learn what joke Major Tom makes in English, while we only know he makes a joke, einen Scherz, in German. By the way, both terms, der Witz Singular, die Witze Plural and der Scherz Singular, die Scherze Plural mean the same, a joke. Let's take a look at the very short yet really different pre-chorus. Dann hebt er ab und and in English it's 4, 3, 2, 1. It's a countdown. Again, really fascinating in a way. Both versions express the same activity, sort of. The German version rather focuses on the actual activity and what's happening, while the English version is more typical in terms of the famous countdown, which doesn't get counted down in German at all, at least not directly. It's implied there, between the lines, so to speak. In the German pre-chorus, the conjunction UND and, at the end, is a direct linking element and leads into the chorus, while in English, well, the pre-chorus and the chorus are more loosely connected and indirectly. And now to the meat of the song, the chorus. Völlig losgelöst, von der Erde, schwebt das Raumschiff, völlig schwerelos. Whereas before, the German version didn't really mention the spaceship directly, here it gets mentioned directly as the neuter term das Raumschiff, singular, die Raumschiffe, plural, which by the way is a literal translation of spaceship and the common German term for this object, I'd say, while the English version doesn't mention it at all. Aside from all differences linguistically and lyrically, what I really like in both versions is the echoey reverb type of effect in the chorus because that really works in both versions, I think, and especially so with the O vowel, das O, in words like schwerelos, in the suffix of that term, in los, less, weight, less, schwerelos. And in English, it's pretty much the same with the O in home. Home. Die Erdanziehungskraft ist überwunden. Alles läuft perfekt, schon seit Stunden. Wissenschaftliche Experimente. Doch was nützen die am Ende, denkt sich Major Tom. 
The second part of this verse is very similar in both languages. The first part isn't too different either. The second line features seit Stunden, since hours, which is only sort of implied by saying stabilizers up in the English version, I'd say. Gravity gets mentioned in the first line in German, which is die Erdanziehungskraft, a rather long term yet possible, while usually die Schwerkraft is the usual German term for gravity. A recurring phenomenon is that in English the thoughts are expressed directly whereas in German it's more indirect. I don't know why that is. Maybe you have an idea. Im Kontrollzentrum, da wird man panisch. Der Kurs der Kapsel, der stimmt ja gar nicht. Hallo Major Tom, können Sie hören? Wollen Sie das Projekt denn so zerstören? Doch er kann nichts hören. Now it gets especially interesting. As far as I understand this, Major Tom is sort of actively sabotaging the whole mission in the German version, while there simply seems to be a technical issue in English. At least that's what it seems like to me. I could be wrong, of course. I think that mostly because of the fourth line, which is a direct question and also seems to be sort of an accusation, like Control is accusing Major Tom of actively and willingly sabotaging things or at least letting something happen and being too passive, not doing something against that, right? So I don't know. The second pre-chorus doesn't differ from the first one in English, but in German it says er schwebt weiter. The last verse goes like this. Die Erde schimmert blau, sein letzter Funk kommt, grüßt mir meine Frau und er verstummt. Unten trauern noch die Egoisten. Major Tom denkt sich, wenn die wüssten. Mich führt hier ein Licht durch das All. Das kennt ihr noch nicht. Ich komme bald. Mir wird kalt. The German version basically blames the remaining crew as ignorant egoists. He sends out love to his wife, but he has accepted his faith and even seems to be looking forward to it, in a way. The last two choruses are the same in English, whereas there is a tiny little difference in the German version. Völlig losgelöst von der Erde schwebt das Raumschiff schwerelos. The two first, last lines, so to speak, are schwerelos, weightless, which makes the final line völlig schwerelos, which is longer once again, the climactic one. Because in a way the singing melody rises upwards like the shuttle into outer space. So basically a great way to end the song vocally. And of course, I also want to know where have you heard of this song before, like for the first time, and which version do you prefer? Even comparing both versions, I still prefer the German one because I, th I simply think it really flows a bit better regarding the words and the sounds of words and those kinds of aspects and details. Anyway, make sure to check out my other videos regarding German songs and German bands like Rammstein, Umf, Die Ärzte and many more. Also many more to come in the future, by the way. So thanks for doing that. I'm your Vlog Dave. Tschüss und bis zum nächsten Mal.